Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working out in the garage and we're going to be getting heat out here. So far I've been relying solely on the dehumidifier and inside that was no problem inside the house in the fish room there. Out here we don't have the help of the furnace so I bought a heater that mounts on the wall. Won't take up any floor space. It should be pretty efficient. Let's take a look. So I'll show you the wall that's going on. These blankets are here because I don't have a door yet. So these big thick movers blankets make actually for a pretty good door and they do a decent job insulating. But I'm going cheap and I'm waiting for someone to give away a door with a frame like on Craigslist or Facebook, something like that. Here is where it's gonna be mounted. But here is the actual heater. Of course, it's backwards. Infrared wall heater. Here are all the specs. This is 1,000 watts, 3,400 BTU. Doesn't want to focus there. There we go. And it does all this stuff over here. It has a built-in thermostat, circulates air. Uh, the right here, like this doesn't get hot, so that's pretty neat. Like, so if something brushes up against there or gets laid across it, uh, which you shouldn't do anyways, it's not gonna be a problem. Filters, everything. So it should be a pretty neat little setup. First, I gotta cut out a piece for here, just a piece of like plywood to uh, frame this up and actually have something to mount it to. All right, we got our piece of wood on here. Believe it or not, this was the better looking side. The other side didn't have these or this in here, but it was pretty gnarly. And again, it doesn't really matter. We're not building this for looks. This is for function, so I'm not painting it. I don't really care. Um, this is not like the focal point. This is not the purpose. So this is what it's gonna look like. Here, you can get a sneak preview of what the next project's gonna be. We're gonna be running airlines, but that's after we get the heat in here. So now we just gotta open up the heater here. Let me grab a knife. Here we go. Never leave home without your multi-tool. And there we go. All right, hopefully this will just slide out. Of course it won't. Uh, let's see. There we go. This is a fairly light unit. So that's nice. I think it looks pretty good too. This is actually smaller physically than I thought it would be, but I think it looks pretty good. The heat storm. Let's hope so. Here you can see the cord is underneath it, so we should be able to hide that fairly decently, but again, don't really care. Got the mounting brackets, a nice little handle. Spin this bad boy around. There we go. Yeah, it should look pretty good here, I think. <laughs> I didn't even know about this, but it comes with a remote control. Got some portions of weeping moss here just sitting under the light. Move those out of the way. Got our mounting screws, remote control, pretty neat. And then the cool thing is, you actually get a bracket with the level in it. So when you're lining these up against the wall, obviously you can make sure it's nice and square and put in your mounting screws. So that's pretty neat. Didn't expect that either. Thought I was gonna have to do this the hard way. And Viola, just like that, we got a heater. Viola, that's right, Viola. Let's take a look at this thing. Looks like we got air filters on each side. They are removable so you can clean them. Here's where our radiant heat will be. Now it says online that this bad boy is good up to 500 square feet and I don't have nearly 500 square feet. So it does look a little smaller than I thought, but hopefully it'll do all right. Now, obviously this is not gonna work. It only comes with like a three foot cord, which is kind of lame on something like this. This draws eight and a half amps. It's only a thousand watts, but eight and a half amps is a lot. So you're gonna want something like this, just a good quality, thicker gauge extension cord. And this fella is 10 feet, so we should be all right. All right, look at that. We got power. I assume this is the power button, right? There we go. 71, that's not gonna do. Let's bump it up to 78 for now. Now it does say it has some like slow startup technology to not uh, like trip any breakers or anything. So let's see if it ramps up here. So it is slowly ramping up here. Hopefully it doesn't get much louder than that. Although honestly, that doesn't really matter. Wow, this is, it's actually putting out a fair amount of air and it's gonna be blowing right on these tanks here. Let's take a look. Let's see what we got here. Some Emerald Eye Rasboras, Blue Neon Rasboras. Over here are Emerald Dwarf Rasboras and Strawberry Rasboras. Probably can't see them. Uh, got a lot of algae on the Bose, Monty, and Praycox rainbows here. 
course here we have the neon green Tetris. The lighting is really low right now, so the camera's having some issues. I don't know if these black bars are going to show up when I'm editing, but if they do, that's why. Of course we have clown killifish here. This really does not like focusing. There you can kind of see it. Some clown killies, green neon rasboras, and then over here we have the Threadfin Rainbows, uh, Ember Tetras in the back, Coolie Loaches over here. So yeah, these guys are going to stay nice and toasty for sure with the heat coming off of this thing. So there you go. It's already up to 74. We are at 71. There's 75. A feature I wish this had was like a remote thermostat because on the other side of the room, it's probably not going to be this warm, but that's pretty good. So I got one more thing I have to do here. We'll let this keep ramping up and let me show you. So now that I do have this closed off room here in the garage, we need to install a smoke alarm. I need to figure out lighting. Uh, once, once everything's done in here, then I'll figure out lighting. But for right now, the lighting is just going to be really bad and we're going to have to power through. Uh, let's see. All right, got it out, got the battery in. We're going to test it oh yeah <laughs> it works so i'm gonna be putting this up here somewhere probably like right here on this lip somewhere i mean i could even install it right there if i didn't want to make it permanent of course right here on the ceiling right here i think is going to be the spot all right just kidding i had to move it over there this cross piece right here was actually metal strangely enough so now it's right there still works should we test it again i know you guys probably love this sound but you got to yep always test them all right we're back at the heater this says it's 77 degrees in here which 73 let's test these tanks let's see well there's a heater in that tank as you can see 81 78 76 74 74, 75, of course there's a heater in this tank as well. Oh, no there's not, never mind, I lied. Keep going, we are at 74. Take a look at these beautiful Kamaka rainbows. Seven, oh, there's a heater in there, I can see it. <laughs> Tiger Endlers at 75, 74, yep, 75. Let's take a good look at these guys. Kamaka rainbows, red rainbows, pencil fish, and then the Tiger Endlers. These guys will be hitting the website any day now. All kinds, just tons of them. Really cool. Awesome fish. Need to get more guppy grass in there. You see the orange shrimp in there. Those are already sold. Sell a bees rainbows down here. I'm <laughs> wondering when I'm going to drop some food in for them. And I'll give you a sneak peek at a couple of the fish in quarantine here. The L18 Gold Nugget Pleco. Uh, there's another one in here somewhere. Put a piece of wood in there, but it wasn't waterlogged, so it's floating up there. We have some Kamaka rainbows in quarantine over here. The Orange Von Rio Tetra. Really excited to get these guys in. I've actually never seen these guys before in person. So they came in nice and big and bright and colorful. These will be hitting the website pretty soon as well. Well, maybe if I can resist temptation to keep them for myself. Down here, it's gonna be hard to see these guys. We have, there we go, some Corridora Habroses. There's Clown Killies in here with them as well. A couple over there on the right. Over here, we're gonna go with some Amano Shrimp there. Quite a few of them in here. And if you look all the way in the back, that little sliver right there. Two of them, maybe, or just one, it's hard to tell. Farlowella, little Farlowella fry. I got four of these in here. Got some dwarf chain loaches going through quarantine. Some shellies, but there's no light on them, so getting lots of reflection here. All right, so I'm gonna quickly go over how this works real quick, and then we'll test the power and see how much power this thing actually uses. So I have it set at 78 degrees, and we're on 78. This green light here means that only one element is running. There's two separate elements, so basically we're at half power when we're at the desired temperature. If it goes two degrees above, so if it was 80 degrees in here, this whole thing would shut off. If it goes two degrees below, so if it was 76 in here, 
both elements would turn on and it would be on full power. Now I've got this nifty little kilowatt meter right here. As you can see, we're running 117 volts. We'll switch it to amps. And I'm sorry if it's really loud, but we're right next to the heater here. Running four amps, so it's, again, only one element is on right now. Here we can see this is a thousand watt heater, only one element, so we're right around 500. And real quick, I'm going to turn it down. So now that the green light is off, both elements are turned off. We'll see just how much we're using here. So 15 watts on a 0.2 amps. Not too bad. Of course, then we can turn it on. You can see when it turns to red, that means we are below our desired temperature. Both of these elements kicked on, and now we're at 8 amps and 950 watts. So as long as we stay in the desired range here, we're only going to be using 500 watts. I'll be able to unplug all these heaters, and we should be overall net way below what I'm currently running in this room. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. I know I haven't been filming a lot of what I've been doing out here, and I think I'm at a place now where it's kind of slowly settling down, and I can start filming what I'm doing here every day, so that's what we're going to do going forward. As you can see, next we're going to be setting up these air tubes back here for all the tanks in here. So thanks for hanging out with me, and we'll do it again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.